everyone, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Attack Pack Gallimimus. Now, just like the Truodon, which I also recently reviewed, this is a very new dinosaur. I got mine for $13, and I think they should be around $7 in the US. But yeah, as you can see, just like um, my Camp Cretaceous reviews, it has the Camp Cretaceous packaging. As you can see in the top left, it says it has the Jurassic World logo, well, the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous variation. And then it says Gallimimus, and then we see Toro, the Carnotaurus, and the kids from Camp Cretaceous. And you can also see the card and the maze pack, the stickers and all that stuff. In the back, you can see the uh, other new attack packs the truodon i recently reviewed and here's the galmimus of course and there's also the dimorphodon and bumpy and yeah another um jurassic world camp cretaceous logo so yeah unique packaging i mean i like it it's not like i don't like it nothing really interesting about it now since i've seen it three times already okay so let's open this dinosaur up okay so these are the dinosaur out of the packaging and it already doesn't like standing so like i cannot make this thing stand but you know i'll try re reviewing it still so as you can see this is a new color scheme now i don't know what the other gallimimuses look like even though i don't have the other gallimimus toys and I have to say, this one is very different. Like, you can see there's way more color. Normally, it was like um, this brownish color. But here, we are having orange, um, whitish, um, ivory color, blue, red. Yeah, I like it. They actually put way more color and design. Even though, I don't know if this, would, if this would happen. They would have this color in real life. Now, if you notice on the Gallimimus, um, it has um, a... I'm trying to focus here. Okay, it's not focusing. But if you're wondering, it has a... It has a... Okay, there you go. Now you can see. It has a limeish green eye. Not limeish, like a yellowish green eye. It's pretty visible. Um, the neck's pretty long, and then as you can see along the neck, you have a blue and red pattern that carries along on the back, but doesn't continue on the tail, sadly. Like, look at this tail, it's so plain looking. Why couldn't they incorporate the colors onto the tail? But yeah, and then the rest of the body, it's really uh, orange, there's... An ivory color on the belly. But yeah, it's mostly orange. Overall, in paint scheme, it's really cool. I'm, I'm actually glad they put some, you know, extra colors. But still, I wish they may put the brown and red all the way to the tail. It just makes the tail look plain. Also, you might not see this but in the camera that well, but uh, it does have some speckling. Uh, it's, yeah, it is present. You can see it. Yeah, it does have some speckling. And, yeah. I mean, there's not that much to say about the paint scheme. Blue on the neck and the back. Red also. Red stripes. And then an orange body with a white, white ivory belly. But, yeah. Now, on to playability. If you're wondering what that means, it's like, the parts that move so the arms move a little not that much like you can move them a little bit pretty less though and they actually um bend the i don't like the arm position that's kind of strange right you know i would have liked how you know how in dinosaurs in the t-rex or truodon they have the arms out i kind of expect that i would want that instead the other arm, it's pretty much the same thing. They put that bentness. I mean, 
I guess it does make the arms have kind of a lower profile, but still, I would have preferred um, arms to be like um, out, stretched out, not like bent. Um, the feet can move also, and they're pretty long actually, now that you think about it. And yeah, Gallimimus is definitely good at running. Also on the feet is um the Jurassic World fax app code. There you go. Let me try to get him closer. Yeah, there we go. I think that's the best I can get. And yeah, if you look at the toes, also, it's not painted. But again, for a small figure like this, they didn't really paint it. Same with the Truodon. And it's the same thing for the hands. They didn't paint it. I would love to. If they did paint it, though, I mean, it's not like a huge different difference when it comes to money, but it would make the figure look so much better. Yeah, the ivory should have gone all the way down the tail. Well, actually, yeah, maybe. Maybe a little more, at least. And, yeah. Now, the mouth doesn't open... Actually, if you notice in a bunch of herbivorous dinosaurs, yeah, it doesn't. The neck, however, moves up and down. I think I already said that, but yeah, it does move up and down. I can make it look downwards like this, or I can make it look upwards like this. Yeah, and I just also like that it has a pretty long neck. So, yeah. I do actually really like um, the neck moving because it makes a huge difference in what your toy is trying to do. Like, you can make it look at the ground, make it look up in the air. If it sees something like pterodactyls, or it could be, you know, like it's eating and then <gasps> it sees something and then it runs away. And that's why. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, overall, the figure, it's good. I mean, maybe a little more details on the arms, just like the Truidon. Also, I would have preferred if the blue and red went all the way to the tail and the ivory went a little further. But overall, it's good. Like, you can also see him, the Jurassic World builder. Overall, it's good. I mean, I won't say you shouldn't buy it. There's nothing wrong with the figure except that it doesn't stand. But yeah, I would definitely say add this to your collection. And yeah, just like the Truodon, I got this for $13. And I think $7 in the US. Okay, well, I hope you like this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below.